Hello, it's Oki okay, and welcome back to Hammer Ting. It's season four. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Yeah, so decided to start season four. Completely new mountain. As you can see, I have not even looked around this place yet. So we got to crack on. Get busy with the mountain. Get busy with the mountain. Gotta dig. Gotta level this out. So, first things first, sort out where our elevator is going to be. As always, we're going to put our elevator just to the side here so we um, have got I'm gonna whack in one of these things oh, where is it small staircase all right oh, I don't need the tutorials we've got sovereignty now so we've got limits to the amount of things we can have or dwarves we can have right so that's the line there so I want to put it in my first set of stairways in here Okay, cool. All right, that's the first bit of work we're going to do. That gives this gives us initially on our elevator. So an elevator is going to be here, so we can get back to the um, entrance. So we're going to leave four slots there, and then we put an elevator. And the elevator, so the elevator is basically going to go in this hole there when it's elevator time. All right. What else we got to do? We got to go exploring because now we need sovereignty. Um, you get sovereignty by finding dwarf statues. So obviously we've restarted it. Because somewhere in this here mountain there should be water and lava and slime. Slime? Green. I don't know. Green or something. Who knows. Let's go and have a look up here. See what we can find. Obviously, you know, priority is going to be getting things going finding metals I mean we got some metal there you know finding metals establishing uh, our initial base getting wood together for um, houses that sort of thing uh, we want to put in oh having a fight with some slimes that's all right though all right that's good that way we've scouted out that way That's fine. It's all fine. Alright. And then we want to put in an, a, uh, one of these. Because these are really good. These these things are really good for um, measuring out depth. But obviously we're going to have to put in a small quarry first. Because without a quarry you can't build any of the things you need. And we'll put it here doesn't really matter where it goes the first quarry I might move it I might not I tend to not move it when I when I put these things in so also as we've got you know more resource or a bit of money uh, I want to buy some more dwarfs so what have we got uh, yeah yeah we'll just get two dwarfs in we're up to our max capacity of dwarfs now because that's our our new sovereignty which gives us five dwarfs out of five we've got our research technologies to get extra sovereign sovereignty yeah it's gonna be fun to say uh, that's coming along there right so now we've got this built we gotta build this up and we want to maintain a stock of uh, 15 of those starting at five once we build one of these we'll be able to build the other thing so we want like 10 rocks we've got 10 of these start at five and then we want these because these are very useful as well and we're going to get like ten of those starting at five uh, and pillars we'll just craft five of those and we'll just maintain a stock of five of those alright and we'll just whatever just start at one okay right so that's good we've got that that's in the house uh, let's scout over here just send a dwarf to have a look over here got to sort this bit out though oh no it's not too bad the next one of these in we'll be getting our first mission very soon I'd imagine now with a bit of luck we won't find a rat cave or anything like that down here would they be so cruel to give us a, an, a, an evil mushroom or something we'll just have a look here uh, don't know what that is we'll find, find out later on 
and we want to just take this out be good it's all building uh obviously gotta look around maybe there's like, got a lot of metal but that's fine there's a little bit of metal there but this is our priority we need to get this done these these stairwells because these stairwells are really good and the reason why i use these is because they help me plot out the levels because these match up quite nicely with um with these so uh, you know these these buildings like if i put that there that would be the fine height but i want to give us a little bit more headroom because some of the buildings are slightly taller i think so that's the reason why i'm doing it obviously very happy that we got some slime because that is health health there we got there health health but i've i know some of the um i just say health health there 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 lots it's fine it's fine it's all good right they're crawling their way up but they do need to go and um, get some more blocks obviously uh what have we got we've got 16 knowledge so this is obviously if you've never seen hammer team before because this is season four and i know a lot of people are going to see like this video for the first time so because this will be part one of season four so obviously you get a law by exploring it does say that and you get trade by trading and we'll do some trading in a bit we've got overworld missions here so these are the overworld missions where you do your trading and obviously this is the very first these are the very first missions so this is nice and easy to get and it gives you a bit of wood gives you a bit of food and a lot like five trade law to actually get you started and some money so we'll accept that and then obviously we'll accept that uh mission stats oh you can pause it and abandon it and stuff like that that's new they, they've added that in so obviously we've got to get some granite granite um chunks chunks the world world lives on chunks and then we need to get some copper so we'll get uh we'll get copper but we need to get some basic stuff so we need to get meteorology so we can make copper ingots and get obviously a small foundry and obviously we need the five we need the five trade laws so we can get beds so they got something to sleep and then uh, we want cave farms so we can we'll get that straight away because i mean we're gonna want cave farms so we can build um food build food i always say build food i always get that wrong right so obviously they're going to be delivering this stuff dwarves level up they get talents and stuff uh, i always go for um spelunker stout to start with because they get um deafness and awareness and deafness basically makes them walk faster and they also get a movement and speed increase for just that skill so it's useful every dwarf's getting that to start with it's the very first thing i want people fast what i'm going to be fo focusing on is fast and um the ability to carry so that is um when we're talking about carrying capacity you want further and robustness up so speed is that that's carrying stuff and that's more carrying stuff so it's all it's all good right so clearly we are now at the point where we can build our next building which is a small foundry because we need a small foundry to make ingots of this stuff so as you can see three layers of that gives us the perfect gives us the perfect size for this gives us two rows at the top there ah we can sort that out later on it's not that important that we uh we clear this off I'm not that bothered by it. We can fix it out later on anyway. Right. Uh, we've got three chunks to go there. Good. Get a Spelunker. Get them going faster. Um, dwarven attributes. Just to look at the attributes. This is like, as you can see, there's lots and lots of stats here. Many stats. But the most important thing is, you know, you get talents and they increase those stats and stats go up to 30. So they do now. They used to only go up to 20, but now they got to 30. All right. Oops, cave over there. If you can find big caves, that means that they explore and get a lot more um, mountain law. So obviously we want to try and make some, we want to make three of these because that's enough to fulfill our first um, overworld mission. Uh, where is it? If you click on the overworld map, you'll see that these this is a, a fight obviously these are the bad guys these are the good guys um obviously the balance of power shifts depending on how you do these um war missions at the moment that's the way it works anyway in the game um 
they probably will ch I hope they change it because it's pretty rudimentary at the moment it's a nice way of putting it in it <laughs> so we'll drill through to that because that's going to be important we're going to need that obviously stuff just lays on the floor until you um, get storage and storage is um, where they put storage it's here adequate trade records that gives you access to storage which is important for um Basically, if you don't get storage, you're going to have crap lying around on the floor all the time. That's basically the long and short of it. I always like these mushrooms. I wish there was an auto harvest option, like in oxygen not included for the mushrooms, but there isn't. So, um, why cry over something that we can't change? Um, I'll tell you what. Well, equip a Kapesh sword because better to have better to have weapons, really. <laughs> better to have weapons there's, there's quite a bit of fighting to start with you don't want you to the weapons really do help the basic weapons are just absolute garbage right uh, we need to stick this in right, we could probably speed up time a little bit while we try and get this sorted out I'm gonna try and speed things up a little bit time this time this let's play when, when we get when we get going so a little bit of speed, I'll slow things down, overworld missions, that's ready for delivery, so you can see you get that done. And sometimes the missions decrease the overworld rating, you know. Sometimes it goes down, but other times it just maintains the status quo. So this is a gap for an elevator which will be going in. And the reason why I put the elevator in here is because it's really close to this. To trade goods, they've got to take it and dump it in this storage inside the uh, the great mount home chest. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we want some coal as well. We'll just nip the coal. Later on, we get drills so we can take things out of the ground more correctly. But, um... At the moment, we won't worry about it too much. Okay, let's just work out what we're doing next. Okay, so um, I want this to be a level. So what you can do is you can build these small stone bridges just out this way. I know it looks a bit stupid at the moment, but it it makes a lot of sense later on. So we'll build, be building like in levels because this is a this is a mine. It don't you know? This is a mine. And one of the other things, you know, when I started out, if you watch season one, um, I just completed this mission. When you watch season one, I always forgot that there was ground. There is a roof to this built place. So what you can do is you can basically go up from here. So most people, I don't know, but actually, I, do you tell you what, I don't watch other people let's play in this. Because <laughs> why would I? I watch, I watch myself let's play it a lot. So I don't watch myself, you know. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. So what we'll do is we'll build this in on two, three, and that gives us a good, good height. I use I use these stairwells to measure where I'm going to build stuff to fit stuff in. I, I really don't have any bigger buildings at the moment, but I will show you eventually. So what we need to do is we need to get a a farm going. A farm because farms are good for when you uh, start getting food because we are going to need to get food. So as you can see. The farm is not as tall as the foundry so that's why I just kind of merge them in but you know I suppose what I could do is I could create like a level with like a two height one I might do it up here uh, what I tend to do though is I tend to put people's houses up above the uh, cave to start with oh, I might not do that this time what are you doing just everyone's just standing around Slightly confused what's going on here. No, oh, whatever. Right. Um, no, I want to get it up higher because I, I want it to get above this entrance here. I know. I'm, I know what I mean. Right. Quite sure. 
watch what's going on there. These guys are just, oh, they haven't actually got anything to do. <laughs> Shocking. Shocking! Right, doors. You aren't all stuck up here, are you? Oh, I've paused it. Fucking hell. What a retard. Right. No, they are they are stuck though. Why are you stuck up here? They're just taking ages to work out what's going on. <laughs> Weirdos. Right. So that's coming on. That's getting built. Let's speed up a bit. So obviously we need to get this built. I'm just working out where the next the next sort of level is gonna be in my Dwarven Kingdom. Uh, one, two, three, it's gonna be like here. Um I'm just wondering, do I put food? Where do I put the farms? I've got to build a farm. I'm gonna put the um, There. Uh, the cook house will go next to it as well. So, let's build another farm. I'll just let this get built out. do as well we'll start clearing this out so a nice logical way to do it is like this so you dig it very high and then basically if you look the way this goes in like that you build it out like that and go boink put two in there one two and then you leave one layer here and then you can dig three high and it basically lets you just clear out large tracks of earth right <coughs> I kind of build my cave systems like this so quite sure why it's taking forever to do that right everyone's leveled up so let's go and give some more talents um, get some more robustness if you control tab to get to the next Right, I'm all done. Sweet. It's a minor error. It's fine though. Actually, that is an error. Uh, whatever. It'll be fine. A little bit of um, a little bit of what? This organization in the structure is absolutely fine. It doesn't matter. So what are we doing here? We got discuss the Forge of the God is somewhere deep down, like all the way to the bottom, so we're not gonna find that. Alright, destroy green slimes, destroy the bleeding atrium. Okay. Uh bleeding atrium's just so we don't want to be fighting at the moment, because we're uh, got rubbish rubbish dwarves. Right, let's just carry on building this out. Once we've built this a little bit more, we can then dig across. And then what you want to start doing is you've got to dig down, because that is the way you find more stuff. So we are basically looking for um, more. Um, we we'll get the dwarven houses and then we'll get blacksmithing as well which will let us build a smithy and some houses so we're going to need houses soon but you want a smithy next to uh, we can throw it in yeah we will build that next and we want to build a small we want to maintain a small supply of copper ingots um copper ingots they they're just um good to have just you'll use copper ingots for everything it's like the default material for for um building anything involving metal 
Um, beams, I'm not sure, but they've added beams. I've not paid much attention to what they do with beams, but we'll we'll get there in the end. We'll find out what beams are for. So obviously, we've got this thing that lets us make a lot of stuff. Tools and things. Which we do want. Alright, let's see what that war thing is. They probably just want, yeah, copper ingots. They always want copper ingots. It's fine though. They can have their copper ingots. I should really pay more attention to that. Right. Let's keep exploring. I wish there was a hotkey for small scaffolds. You can hold down shift so it doesn't... Um, also, you can just like carry on building them, but it is a bit annoying having to constantly reselect them. Right. Right, we are going to go down and we're going to go search them. Unfortunately, they haven't got very good vision, so every time they go looking, they just kind of like fail. Right. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to start building down over here because I want to look down here, but I don't want to just sort of like one of the major problems with fighting some of the, the monsters at the start of the game or the, the buildings, they're like monster spawning buildings is that obviously if you jump down here and you can't get back up, your doors will run around like idiots and basically just die because they'll have no way to get away or heal or anything like that, so um Ideally, if you build stairs so they can go down, then they will run up the stairs to get away. So it's, um, it sounds simple, but trust me, it's not always going to work out like the way I said. <laughs> it never does. Right, what do we need here? We need crushed granite. Crushed granite um, is the stuff we grow uh, plants in. So you do need a bit of crushed granite. That increases the ferocity of the, so fer ferocity of the soil. Right, we will expand and we will get another quarry. We'll get one, another one because we will need another quarry eventually. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, you weirdos? Every time they do weird stuff. Look, they're just going to get mushrooms. Just like, what are you doing that for? Weird. Right. And once that's done, we need to build out here because we want this to be a nice. All right. So what we'll do is we'll harvest that, and we'll, we'll harvest that, and then we'll build out there. All right. So, all right. Let's crack on. Crack on. All right. Let's. Down we go. We're only building, so we're down at this level. Actually, we should be building somewhere down at like, basically this level here. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's ready for delivery. So that's done. Gives us a little bit more money. A little bit more trade law. It's all good. See, look. See what I mean? They've jumped down like idiots. That's what they do. Stupid, stupid dwarves. All right. Haven't seen any water yet, though. Goddamn, made this game to make to find water, and have we got any water? No, we bloody haven't. Right. I mean, it's fine. It's going to take us a little bit of time to find some what we're looking for. You know, let the hunt for water begin. Right, these guys are stuck. I'm not quite sure what's over here. I'll have a quick look. Move someone over here. Have a look. Right, and then we'll carry on building down. It's just a goblin down there. Look at the goblin. Oh, yeah. hello, goblin. Oh, slime war. More slimes. Good, dead slimes. Right, let's keep building these stairways down. 
So obviously that's three or four down. So that's going to be the next level of cave dwelling. Because it's three high. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Let's keep on digging down. Ugh. Right. Speed up things. All right. I want to dig through to that so these doors can get back up. Right. Keep on going. Got to sink a couple of holes. There's only like five dwarves at the moment, so you know, not surprisingly, it's uh, we're not making the, the fastest progress in the world. All right, let's keep on going down. This is good. I'm gonna find a I'm just gonna build that down. Obviously, we need to keep on building this stuff down. Ooh. Building down, as you can see, some of them got better vision, so uh, you can act, they actually get better sight. So let's keep going. Why did I miss that? Oh, it's not two little bits there. Right. All right, let's put that in there. But this farm, this farm's built. We want another farm. Because we're going to need to water and wheat to make hard tack and hard tack really is what we need. Right, let's level this guy up. Get that sorted. That's coming along. Right, so what we need to do is need to start making so. They've changed the game a little bit, or I've I haven't. No, they haven't changed the game. I just don't know where you get grain. So you need gloom wheat. So you need grain, grains and milling, hard tack, flour and wheat from the. But we need to get cooking first. So I need a bit of trade. I need a bit more trade law. So I'm going to see if there's an overworld mission we can do to get trade law. Uh, they want two beams. I mean, that's fine. I have two beams. Okay, we can. And then they want some of that as well. Uh, this is good because it gives you gals, which is a healing thing. So we'll uh, we'll get these. They want beams, so we'll make a couple of beams. Okay, all right. Let's keep on going down. And need to keep on going down here as well. All right. And we need to build some more stairwells. This game is literally about looking around for stuff. I need to find if I want more dwarves, I'm gonna get more need more sovereignty. And I can get that with technology, so I think like I know this one gives you more sovereignty. But like I say, I need I need more sovereignty. So what should we do with honey? Hmm. Probably make mead using honey. Right, we found iron, which is good. Iron's nice. We can start making some basic tools out of iron as soon as we got a well we got a smith here, haven't we? So you make straight handles and then you get uh you get basically hammers and you make stuff. You make stuff. I'm gonna have to make um some ladles as well because cooking's coming soon. As soon as I've done these quests, I should be able to get cooking. Oh, I want medicine. Medicine. Uh, cooking is coming. So, I need to hand these two quests in. Once these are done, we'll be able to get cooking. Oh my god, I forgot about houses. Okay, right, no houses. Right, that's. T <laughs> yeah, uh, totally didn't remember. Right. So, houses need to go in a lickety split. Um, do 
I put that in the wrong place? I did. Oh. Well, did I put that one in the wrong place? I did. All right. Okay. It's fine. We can fix it. Yeah. All right. Quite sure why it won't put houses in there. Yeah, the reason why they're getting uh, upset, they're getting like morale's low, is they need their houses to uh, store gold they take from here. They take gold out of the mountain hold and then they put it in their houses and then they do nothing with it. So, um, but we have got enough trade thing to get thing to get cooking. Oh, look at that. Formalized training gives us more people. Cool. Okay, but we need cooking at the moment. And then we can install a cookhouse in here. Yeah. Um, we'll probably cut the cookhouse in here. It's copper. Good, good. All right. Uh, wait, we need dwellings. I'm not quite sure why I can't put... Well, give me a sec. I'm just trying to work out what's going on with this. Cancel that. All right, and then we'll put a dwelling in. All right, I'm just being dense. Is the word? Right. Uh, there. Uh, I need to get a bit more space. I can't see Jack. Right, level up. Uh, you want this one as well because mine's mirror gives you awareness and fervor. It's like that's really good. It's like what three attribute points for one talent. Really good. Right now, now we uh, hand this in, and now one of the questions is where'd you get wood from? Apparently, lots of people ask this on the forum. Where you get wood from is you do, you do this. Well, not this mission. Oh, they want lanterns. Oh, we have to make lanterns as well. Okay, that's fine. You you do a mission uh, on the overworld to um, get wood, and you have to build axe heads. Uh, irritatingly, yeah. That's the only way you get wood. All right. And so that's coming along. That gives us our five houses. You just assign dwarves to houses or assign that guy because he's clearly angry. I should cheer him up. How much wood have we got? Oh, nope. Not a massive mount is the answer. We do have swords, which is good. Like I say, there are it's a minor upgrade to the weaponry, but I mean, minor upgrades are handy at this level, right? Let's keep on looking for down this. I haven't found any water yet though, which is sad. I'll just keep building these things. Slimes, yeah, that's it. Kill them. Slimes are really good, though. It's good to have slimes invading the base because it gives you the materials to um, gives you the materials to uh, make slime healing potions, which is a really good source of healing. What's this in? They want. See you go. They want two woodsman's axes, and they give you five lumber. It's good. All right. So we can do that. We can make some axes. I'm just going to chill the game out for a bit. Alright, Woodsman's Axes. So, 
Can I even make axes? I, I can't actually make axes yet. God damn. Right. What do you need for axes? We've got blacksmithing, woodworking techniques. So that's how you get axes. And I do need axes. So let me just hand this in. Um, have we got enough knowledge to get this yet? Uh, no, we need a little bit more. A little tiny bit more. So let's just see what we can do. Uh, they want lamps. I mean, we can give lanterns. Lanterns aren't too hard to construct. Let's build them. Lanterns just take a couple of copper ingots. So make three of those. We've got like ingots stored in here. Wow. If we haven't, we, can, we sure as how should. Right. We'll get that stuff. And we'll get that stuff. We need we need like some resources. They've got resources, to be fair. It's just not the most obvious of resources. All right. So bear in mind we need to get this mission done so we can get axe crafting so we can get wood. And that is what we're trying to do. So let's keep that in our heads. Mm. Yeah, silent dwarves and houses. That's ready for delivery, and that means we can get woodworking techniques, which means we can build. Uh, chill out, and which means we can build woodsman's axes. To build woodsman's axes, we need a couple of heads, a couple of handles, and then we can build a couple of axes. There we go. All right, these things will stop being angry a second. I can go here, nab some money out of the chest, and um, quit bugging me about it. Really, to be honest, um, way to make money, traditional way to do it, is to uh, sell granite pillars. They're they're not worth very much, but you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, right, so we've got a hook cookhouse built now. So in order to get a cookhouse, you need to build, you need to get ladles. So you need to build a couple of ladles. And, oh, because I want a couple of, a couple of those. Oh, yeah. Four handles, and then you build uh, a cook's, my ladles. So we'll build to build a cook's ladle once we've got the ladles built. And then we can give the dwarves a ladle. A ladle is the only tool you need, I think. A apart from the whitesmithing chippy thing to make the uh, jewellery, you need a ladle to be able to cook food. So what food have we got available? Right. <laughs> it's been a while. It hasn't been a while. What it has been is that they patched the game, so I'm just double-checking everything. Okay, right. So... You can't build beer in the cookhouse anymore, but you can build. All right, okay, right. So we need, I need water. So we need to keep a constant supply of water up in the, in the thing, and I'll go like that, and then sugar beets. Okay. Fine, that's fine. All right. Uh. Axes for the mill. So I built what made one axe so far. Uh, this is good because that means we've got enough. We can get another dwarf now because we found one of these things. They give they give the ability to recruit more dwarves when you when you find them. So we're going to hopefully find lots of these statues lying around. Otherwise, God, my last village, my last dwarven village had about 69 dwarves in it. So almost 70 dwarves. So I do want. Um, I do need lots of. Uh, Lots of stuff. All right, uh, we got another dwarf that is requiring a house. All right, chill out, dwarves. All right. Uh, we need to keep on building down. And uh, we need to keep on building down. Down we go. And that's being done. All right. That's been built across. Build that. Do that. 
so when the second we get this axis for the mill done, we can um, get enough wood to finish off all the houses for all the dwarfs. Because at the moment they're lacking lumber. Got lumber? No, got no lumber. Right. So let's keep on looking this way as well, and keep on looking this way. Um, you can build a little stone platform over these bits of the houses. Ooh, if you do it right, of course. Uh, you can build a stone platform. Uh, yeah, okay. Okie dokie. Right. Oh, it still does that thing where it goes down occasionally. That was the mouse. I'm not just suddenly scrolling down. The mouse does that on its own. It's a bit of a bug in the game, I think. I don't think it is. I know it is. Right. That's ready for handing in, which means we get five wood, which means we can complete building the houses, which means every dwarf can have a house. Which is nice. Not sure we're going to cook in here. We haven't really got any decent trade. We haven't got any decent stuff. One of the things I do want to make is like hard tack because I need gloom wheat to make um, presumably beer because beer is made of wheat, isn't it? We need to get formalized learning so we get more experience. Oh, we got need loads of stuff. We're back to that situation where we need loads of stuff. But we do need houses first, so let's speed up the world. Let's get this leveled up, get you a dwarfy thing. This is a handy ability, this one here. Thrifty Outlook, it gives you extra wisdom, but also gives you greed gain. So it kind of stops them getting so needy for money, which I will be getting. Because there's some good benefits later on down the line for it. We do need to keep building this up. I mean, there are benefits to making water. I mean, they do give morale and like sugar beets do give you energy. We've got no way of generating health, but I mean, I might just get sugar beets on the road. Just like keep five going. We'll get 10 going and stop at 5. Same with this. Just because it gives them energy and morale, it's just handy to have that. Right. It's a bit messed up. Well, that's fine. Don't want your walls running out of energy or morale. Actually, what I'll do is I'll. Um, also, I have to assign a dwarf to be a cook. So, if we've got any uh, dwarves that can be uh, cooks, hold on. So hopefully, we've got a couple of ladles in here. Right, so we just need to assign them to be. Who's good at cooking? You're good at cooking. And. Uh, you're next good at cooking. Okay, right, so. If you're a cook, you can't be a builder. And eventually, what we'll do is we'll switch out the, the um, we'll switch out the cooking ladle. Can you switch the cooking ladles out for? Yeah, you you get like butcher's axes, which means they can fight and cook, which is nice. The two skills are both related, closely related. A bit amount of knowledge up there. Oh, good. All right, let's go down here. Still looking for water though. Still haven't found. Oh, is that water there? We found the first bit of water. We'll have a look at that closely in a second. All right. Let's keep on building down.
Well, this job doesn't have any priority, does it? Fine. Go through that. Gives you some really crappy materials, but it's fine. Knock a, knock a little hole in there so people get. Oh, we got water. Okay. I don't know how water, what problems it causes. Uh, we got one of these as well. Bleeding atrium. Uh, it's fine, I guess. Hopefully, we won't die too hard to it. But it is a bit of a threat at this early phase in the game. Oh, there's water. Oh, there's more water. Let's build down into it and see what happens. when we dig into this stuff and I haven't, I haven't seen water interact yet so we're going to just pause for a second here let's see what happens oh it does look very nice it's very pretty and when we can build like a pump I don't know what it does though I don't know. I don't know what what negative effects water has. Ooh. Although it does displace when you Yeah, look at that. It's like a rippling out and sorting itself out. I like it. I've right, got copper here, copper here. Right, I wanna clean this copper out. Really coal. That's good. All right. We got a rat. Hello, rat. Hello, ratty. All right. All right. So what we need to do is we need to dig this out. No, that's uh, a misclick there. All right. Don't pause it. All right. Let's keep on going. Right, so all of our technology is sorted out, so everyone's got a house, which is nice. Yeah, all right, stop being angry. You've got a house now. All right, and got a house. you got a house, everyone's got a house. you got a bunch of granite chunks as well. All right. This is copper, copper, copper. Right, so we can build another house out there eventually. We can do some cooking. Um... I'm not sure we're going to do cooking to start with. Fine. <laughs> oh, this is literally going to be our first challenge. But it's good because this challenge is isolated away from everything. And what I can do is I can hopefully get medicine. Yeah, medicine. Cool. That's really good. Because then what we can do is we can build a infirmary. And then using water and um, using water and slimes, we can make healing potions, which would make fighting this thing uh, a lot more chilled. Well, you know, not 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 chilled, but you know. Um, better. I wonder what happens if they're underwater too long. I have no idea. I'm sure it's fine. Right, let's. They can breathe underwater. That's a dwarf's 
a famous thing Dawes are really good at, isn't it? Famously known for their ability to breathe underwater. Just looking to see what's happening, really. I, I mean, you can like use a steady tilt. They walk slightly slower in the water. Yeah, they walk more slowly in the water. That's fine. Right, so we're gonna put that in. Uh, in you go, and in you go, and in you go. So we got our. We got we everyone's got a house, so we've got to build our uh, infirmary. Once our infirmary is built, we can look to the future and see what else we're going to build. Obviously, this is starting to get. I'm starting to put this in place. Um, obviously, I need to uh, start digging this out as well. Oh, right, that's fine. Uh, we need to put that in like so, and then dig out like. Like so. Right. It's going well. Might speed up time a little bit. There's no massively pressing. Oh god, yeah, that is a little bit pressing. That's fine. What have we got them? Uh, that's easy to do because we've got blocks. That's also easy to do because we've got slabs. Let's get this trade shit going. Uh, that's easy to do because they want. We don't need more. Oh, we do need. We need beaver hide. And they want what? Axes for that. <laughs> we'll get that sorted in a bit. That's easy to do. 10 wood for that as well. That's really good. And there you go. Weary arms requirements only 5 axes. Right, we'll do that as well. Right. So let's make some five axes. Right. Sweet. That's ready for delivery. That's ready for delivery. Ready for delivery. See that they're fulfilling orders quite quickly. This is almost done. It'll be done soon. Sure, well, that guy's just standing around looking sad. Maybe he's got nothing to do. Maybe he's very confused. Who knows? Okay. Uh, we do need to build this down though. So, cool. Yeah, I see the water levels going down. So, I mean, I'm not that fast by walking slowly through water at the moment. It's not that offensive. Oh, well, we need a beam. That's what we need. Get a beam. Be able to make that a sort of new. So I don't know why this worker's got such a low priority. I do want to go and look over this way. But yeah, it's fine. Right, let's just look over here. That copper, that's ready to be handed in. Cool. So we've now got like 15 trade and no cave knowledge. We just need to like go wandering around the caves a little bit more. Ideally, though, we'll find like a big old cave and it'll pop in and it'll be good and all that. Hopefully, if we can go for a little wander over here, see what's up there, maybe. This is see the cave knowledge going up already. Oh, no, stop it. I'll come back over here. Want to see what's over here? Not a massive amount. Right. Mm. 
it's ready for delivery as well bingo it gives us some more wood which means we can make some more dwarf houses so we should make another dwarf house as well i do want another dwarf house because we should be recruiting that dwarf to get our capacity for dwarves up to the maximum it can be at right Still haven't made this yet. Then come on, make the infirmary, and then we can go and fight the bleeding atrium. I mean, we've got a limited number of builders, which is a bit of a problem. But that's fine. Let's get him built. Means we should build some, like five of those to start with. All right. Fly fox. Ooh. Never seen a fox before. Well, I've seen a fox before, but not in the game, as it were. be crazy like that see look at that you can't pay these doors to behave like this all right so we've got 12 cave law can we get anything good uh four more is learning and beekeeping i don't know what beekeeping uh, all right We'll probably make bees at the farm i'm not sure hmm. right arcane workshop we get educated dwarves but eh, we're not bothered by that i want grains good so grains we can make hardtack and you need to make hardtack you need flour and water which is fine flour uh, and flour is made of wheat so let's grow some flour. Oh, let's grow some flour. All right, and then we can make some hardtack. Which, uh, well, you need to make flour first, obviously. Uh, so we'll make ten flour. Now we'll make five, five hardtack. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. That means they should make wheat and water and we'll get rid of the beets because you only beets when we've got hardtack this hardtack is going to be much better so begins the great dwarven food making industry all right uh, we've got dwarf leveled up there get you all right sweet okay okay so we've got the basics of food we've got a basic smelting smithing industry in we're starting to get the elevator built we've got houses for all the doors we've got our infirmary in there we're about to fight the first war we're about to fight the first war before we do that i might get some swords but the war of first war of the mushroom is um going to be for next episode because we're coming up to an hour so i'd just like to say thank you everyone thank you for joining me in season four it's most awesome review have you if you have got this far if you enjoyed the content please like subscribe tell your friends i don't know if that'll be good um and i'll see you for the next episode of hammerting thanks a lot bye